Mike Jones has not had an easy life. Grew up on the wrong side of the racial tracks in rural Louisiana. Parents divorced. Lost family members to violence. Mentally alone at a young age. A victim of serious, painful, debilitating illness. Yet through it all, he has remained steadfastly sunny, optimistic, and grateful for what he's been given. He feels an unwavering commitment to pass on the blessings and gifts he's received to the young people in his life, both at the Boys and Girls Club of the Peninsula, where he is senior unit director, and in his own family. Mike, you've had some really difficult experiences in your life. Um, tell me what happened to you when you were in sixth grade. Well, imagine uh, getting a phone call at four in the morning, you're 11 years old, you hear your grandmother get up, you get up as well. You don't know, normally when you get a phone call in the morning, it's something that happened. Um, so um, my grandmother gets the phone call, she gets off, she comes and tells me that your father had been shot and killed. And I said to myself, whoa, it was a shock. And um, I got so nervous and scared because I was thinking if someone shot and killed my dad, maybe they're coming after me and my little brother. Um, so it just, I was very, it was a very tragic moment in my life. Um, and what has that done to you subsequently? Um, it's with the support of my, uh, my family um, growing up uh, after that happened because I had my grandfather and my uh, uncles to take me through this journey. It allowed me to provide hope for uh, the work that I'm doing today for these, with the kids. Um, I think that there's paths for everyone and my path is to provide hope and, uh, for the kids that's out there in the world. I think it's all along the path. I think what happened is projected me in that in that direction. So I think this is my calling. I can I cannot see myself doing anything else. I think there was always something telling me. I don't know if it's spiritually or angel or whoever is always just telling me to keep moving forward. Uh, I I really believe that my grandmother and my grandfather was the the platform or the hope that they gave me to keep to me moving forward. You're always going to have, something's always going to happen. And um, I live my life believing that there's no challenge in this world, it's only solutions. And uh, I, I keep going back to my grandma and grandfather. You know, they faced a lot of challenges, but they always kept a smile on their face. And you've, is there any challenge that has, has not had a solution for you? No. There's no challenge to have solutions. And how do you live or you don't? I'm gonna live whatever comes my way. How do I try to, how do I, or would the people around me help me find a solution to that challenge that's, that's a, that we're facing? Well, okay, speaking of another challenge, uh, you had a big one um, that emerged at a basketball game 12 years ago. Tell me about that. So, um, you know, I'm no Michael Jordan or uh, the young man from the Golden State Warriors, but I thought I could play a little bit of basketball, I think. Uh, but I was playing the game, and after the game, I felt like I pulled something in my shoulder. Uh, after that, an hour later, I started feeling pains in my shoulder, my elbow. A few hours later, I started feeling pain everywhere, like the lining of my heart. I felt like I was having a heart attack. It was, it was oh, it was terrible. Um, so at the time, uh, my wife, she was my girlfriend, drove me to the, the hospital, and they couldn't figure out what's going on. I said, we don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> um, so they took some blood samples. They gave me some, uh, some pills to try to help with the pain. But uh, I mean, it was, that didn't help. So a couple of days later, I uh, went to see a specialist, uh, and they found out that I had rheumatoid arthritis, uh, which is, RA is an autoimmune auto disease that attacks the joints in your body. Uh, it was so, hit me so hard that I, barely, I couldn't even walk, it was so much pain. What did that do to your day-to-day -day life? Well, I, it definitely made me, it humbled me. It allowed me to see uh, things from a different perspective. 
Um, for one day I could be running and next day could not be running. Uh, it, it definitely made me more in tune to myself hmm. and what I should be doing in this world. Five years after that, I've been, uh, I was diagnosed with lupus. So, you know, I'm fighting two diseases. Well, I won't say I'm fighting. I'm dancing with two diseases, and it's been a beautiful dance. How frequently do you feel symptoms? Um, I'm in pain every day of my life. Wow. Um, there's uh, some challenging days that I can't get up. Uh, well, but I still get up mentally. I get up, uh, and I get up because I want to be inspiring for every kid that's out there. And the days that I'm in pain, which is every day, you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you, but the days that I'm in pain, I have come to the understanding that I'm taking pain away from a youth that is, that is suffering. Hmm. So I can bear that, that um, I can bear living with that because I know that I'm taking something away from a kid that's suffering. Do you ever get discouraged? Never. Why? Why get discouraged? There's, there's people that's facing worse things than I'm facing. Every day is a miracle. <laughs> this award is for my family, for my wife, and for my kids. I spend um, countless hours with other families and other kids. And um, I don't spend a lot of time um, with my kids personally. So it's, uh, it's definitely a, a challenge, but this award is for them. Do you know someone who has overcome significant hardship and has an inspiring story to tell? Someone who has sacrificed or given over and above to the community and deserves some recognition? If so, please contact us with your nomination for next year's Local Hero Awards. To find out more about our local heroes and to watch interviews with all the winners, visit our website, midpenmedia.org. At the Mid Peninsula Community Media Center, you can make your own videos and television programs and take classes in all aspects of media production. You can also hire our professional services team. To find out more about that, go to mcproservices.com. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you for watching.